Hi guys, I've got a new story to read to you today. It's a pirate story, The Jolly Rogers and the Ghostly Galleon. I love a pirate story. You ask my family, every now and again I try and persuade them to run away and become pirates with me, but they, they never say yes. So this is about a pirate family, The Jolly Rogers, and we'll have a quick look at the back. Ahoy there, me hearties. Set sail with Matilda, Jim Lad, and The Jolly Rogers on this swashbuckling new series of piratey adventures. Every full moon, a mysterious ship is seen off the coast of Dullon Sea, and pirates loot the land. Can Matilda and Jim Lad retrieve the stolen booty and vanquish the scurvy crew, or will they end up stuck on board the ghostly galleon? book starts with a prologue. This is what happens in the beginning. Heave ho, under the light of the moon we go. We'll take your silver, we'll take your gold, we'll take what we want so line to line our hold. Some say we're cursed, some say we're dead. We're in search of a key as you sleep in bed. Heave ho, heave ho, under the light of the moon we go. Crunch. The boat's keel smashed into the shore, ploughing a deep furrow up the beach. Heavy leather boots fell silently onto the sand. All ashore, me hearties, bare bunioned toes splashed in the surf. Stick with me, you scurvy dogs, there'll be plunder in these ear streets. Flintlocks were primed, daggers were drawn. Cold, dead steel flashed in the moonlight. A mass of dark, briny shadow surged across the beach and up the steps, disappearing into the moonlit alleyways of Dull on Sea. Chapter One, the Museum. Sitting in the cosy control room of Dull on Sea Museum, Arthur Poppycock bit into his double chocolate muffin and slurped his tea. Mmm, what a lovely capper, he mumbled as soggy crumbs tumbled down his chin. Being a security job was being a security guard was the best job Arthur had ever had. Endless cups of tea, as many muffins as he could eat, without Mrs. Poppycock reminding him of his trouser button problem. Plenty of time to read Morris Minor Monthly and hours of silence to tackle his beloved crosswords. And best of all, thought Arthur, nothing ever happens in Dallon Sea. Creak. What was that? Clank. Probably a cat in the alley, Arthur muttered. He switched to the alley camera, but there was nothing on the CCTV. Clump. Or a very big mouse? Crash. I'd better check, he told himself. The only bad thing about his job at the Dallon Sea Museum, apart from the itchy jumper and having to polish his shoes every day, was that Arthur wasn't very keen on the dark. Everything looked spooky beyond the glow of his flashlight. There were funny shadows everywhere. Statues, sculptures, stuffed animals, paintings, and pirates! Chapter 2, The News. Good morning, this is Dull TV. Reports are coming in that the Dull on Sea Museum has been ransacked by pirates. Police said that the museum's CCTV failed to catch sight of the intruders and no fingerprints or other evidence has been found. At this stage, they only have the mumbled account of crossword champion and museum security guard Arthur Poppycock to go on. We now cross live to the news conference at Dullon Sea Police Station, where Chief Inspector Clueless will be sharing the latest developments. We're baffled. And now to our roving reporter in Dull on Sea. I was just walking home from the pub when I saw them. Hundreds of them there were, waving their cutlasses and singing and cursing and excited like. Carrying a load of treasure they were. The wife didn't believe me. Said I were drunk, she did. Told me to sleep in the spare room. She did, and not to muddle the clean washing because it was all neatly folded like. 
I'll be yearning all day, I will. I'll have to wash the sheets too. They smell of stale beer and chips. And we've got guests come in Tuesday week. Jonky was. Pirates, he said. Have you ever heard anything like it? Pirates? In this day and age? So that's eyewitness Mervyn Wobbly and his wife Sheila, residents of Seaview Terrace. Now, back to the studio. Matilda munched on her pirate pops and listened to the radio intently. The robbery at Dallon Sea Museum comes one month after the archaeological dig at Parrot Point was mysteriously ransacked in the night. Many of the treasures from the Parrot Point shipwreck had already been taken to Dallon Sea Museum for safekeeping, but these were stolen in last night's raid. Police are yet to confirm that the two crimes are linked. Matilda loved pirates. In fact, her best friend, Jim Ladd, was a pirate. Taking an old bottle from the recycling box, she decided to write him a letter. If pirates were involved, maybe Jim would know something about it. We would advise householders to lock up their valuables and not to answer the door at night, particularly to pirates. But we would also remind you that pirates aren't generally a problem in Dallon Sea. Most importantly, don't panic. Chapter three, panic. And we'll save that for another time. Bye for now.